Uh, welcome to Math 1342 Statistics. This is the uh, online course. I'm Chris Martin. I'm your leader for the ship for this semester. So what I'm looking at right here is I've logged into D2L. I'm viewing it just as you would see the course. And so at first things look a bit confusing. We see on the right uh, a calendar which shows you question one is due, question two is due, there's a drop box. Some of that will become clear in the next few minutes. Uh, there's a news item here in the middle. Uh, that's an important feature because it says that uh, D2L is the framework for the course, but most of the real information for the course can be found by clicking on that particular link. We'll get to that in a few minutes. Now you also can click on the content link, and when you click on content, What you'll see is the table of contents. There's some basic course files, uh, textbook questions, and the graded discussion questions, and there are four drop boxes. So you could click on the important course files and read what that is. And then here under textbook questions, these are discussion boards. So if you have a question about the course, a policy, Post it here to general questions. If you have a question about something in chapter 2, then post it to chapter 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way to chapter 11. I am currently subscribed to all the discussion boards, so as soon as you post the question, I should see it and respond fairly quickly. As we scroll down, we have the graded discussion questions. Uh, these count for 15% of your final course grade, and they have particular due dates. So generally, you'll have one week to do them. They're not very long, they're not very hard, but they do keep you involved in the course. We have uh, four drop boxes, and the drop boxes are for test one, test two, test three, and the final exam. We'll get to how you do that stuff a little bit later. All right, so if we come back up to the top, and if I go back to the beginning page, and if you click on this to get to the main course files, what happens is it goes to my website, and my website looks like the following. It says Math 1342. Uh, the syllabus we'll get to in a few minutes. If you look at the uh, test and review dates, uh, for like for example, test one, there will be a sample test available on February the 4th. And what you'll get is a PDF file of the sample questions along with the solutions. You don't need to turn in the sample test to me. There for you to work, to try to understand, see where your weaknesses are. The real test one would be open on February the 6th. You're going to download it, work the entire test uh, at your laptop or at your home. You'll be able to download the test in either Word or PDF format. And then it's due back to me in the Dropbox by February the 13th. So you essentially have a whole week from the time the test opens till when the uh, test is due back. Uh, you'll also be able to see the uh, current coverage, which will show you uh, on each date for a two-week period which particular things we'll be covering, suggested homework problems, and that. So, for example, for January the 14th, you're going to read through Chapter 1 and become familiar with the uh, vocabulary. Don't memorize it, just become familiar with it. You're also going to go to StatCrunch, and we'll go there in a few minutes and see what that is. It's a fairly involved software package for statistics. It's very cheap. For six months, it's only $13. You're also going to work on discussion question one below, which is basically just to introduce yourself. 
and you're going to watch the welcome video that I'm assuming you click the link and that's what you're watching right now. Uh, there are calendars and dates for the discussion questions. Uh, these discussion questions 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, there'll be active links as we get closer and it'll give you clear guidance as to what's on that discussion question. Material for the course, you need the textbook. You don't need the uh, data CD. I'll try to put that data somewhere else where you could always grab it. And you need the software. The description of the course, you can read that, the prerequisites, the outcomes. Hopefully by the end of the course, you can do all of that. And the bottom is the particular sections we're going to be covering in the textbook. All right, let's come back up to the top again. Let's talk about the uh, stat crunch to get access. So when you click on this link, what will happen is you go to the stat crunch website. It'll say there you want to purchase access for six months, and then you can pay for that. So if you look at stat crunch, it has um, all kind of statistical graphs. It does statistical testing. You're able to collect your information from within StatCrunch. You're going to use it to answer the statistics questions on the discussions and on the test. And you're going to paste all of these results into Microsoft Word. You then will submit that to the Dropbox. All right, let's go talk, uh, look at the PDF file on the course and the policies. And we'll talk through that. These opening pages just talk about the basic description, the outcomes, again, the sections that are covered. All right, so if we look here, what we see is my name. I'm Chris Martin. If you happen to be on the Kingwood campus and want to stop in and ask questions, you can do that. Uh, homework problems you don't turn in. They are only there as suggestions for you to see that you are understanding the material. If you get stuck, just post your question to the discussion board on the textbook, and I'll try to answer those questions. There is a drop date. The drop date is April the 3rd for this semester. Now, the state of Texas is checking, so you don't want to have more than six drops your entire college career in the state of Texas. If you have more than that, the state is going to start charging you out-of-state tuition, which is very costly. The uh, grading for the course, we have six discussion questions, three tests, and one final exam. So the discussion questions are 15% of a grade, and it's basically yes, you participated, or no, you did not. So there's no I'm gonna there's no me going in and grading it and saying minus one or minus two. It's basically yes you did it, no you didn't. We have uh, three tests. The tests are 20% each, and again before every test there is a sample test which we'll go through. You'll have both the PDF file solutions and you'll also have a video of me talking through the solutions. Uh, you will type up your results for all of the tests. You're going to paste your typed up results. You're going to paste your information from StatCrunch. You're going to put it into Microsoft Word. And then you're going to submit it to the Dropbox. Uh, grades should be posted uh, three days after the uh, due date for the drop dot Dropbox has passed. The uh, final exam is the same way. It's worth 25% of the course. Again, you're going to download it, work it at home, and then paste your information from StatCrunch and Microsoft Word. Grading scheme is uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, make sure that you don't sit at home lost. Uh, feel free to post things to the, the discussion board. If it seems like we need an online chat, I can set that up as well. If you have suggestions for more videos as the semester goes along, I'll be posting some with the notes uh, for the class. You can do that as well. So let's go back 
to my web page. Uh, when we get here to the current coverage, it'll tell you the course section. There will be notes for that section, and there will be suggested homework problems. For some sections, there will also be links uh, to uh, YouTube, which will hopefully describe things a little bit clearer or show you exactly how to do things. Well, I hope this introductory video has helped you understand a little bit more about the course. If you still have questions, post them to the discussion board under general questions. And so again, welcome to the course.